Hey guys, good to see you again. Uh, hope you're having a great start to your week. I know I am. It's kind of a gray, rainy day out there, but we got Bible study tonight and about to hit an open workout here in a second. So uh, I'm really excited to talk to you today about the domino effect and how it might help you get a skill that you haven't before, like double unders or muscle ups. Uh, but first things first, I'm gonna hit that. Uh, that open workout and let you know how it goes. Hey guys, that was brutal. Uh, just got done with the workout, 14.3. I kept trying to do the math on the board, but after a workout like that, even simple math can be hard to do in your head. Whooped out the calculator, 90 reps. So I'm pretty sure that's better than what I did last time I tried this workout. I think I got stuck somewhere in the 225 deadlifts. So happy about that, but I want to talk about the domino effect a little bit here. Uh, it was mentioned in an audiobook I'm listening to right now. And it might be the key, I think it talks a lot to what we do with scaling in our workouts and getting back to... <laughs> this is Oliver for those of you who don't know him. He's the best, he's the coolest kid in the neighborhood. Um, the domino effect is basically, there's a guy that did some research, and if you've seen those long, long trains where people set up hundreds of thousands of dominoes in a row, and they tap one, falls over, and knocks all the rest over, right? Everybody's done that when they were a kid. The cool thing about this study that was done was that they figured out that a domino could not only just knock over a domino of equal size in a continuous train, but it can actually knock over a domino that is one and a half times larger than the one before it. So, what that? How does that translate into uh, to CrossFit or into your fitness? I mean, it allows you to take small steps, and you can start out with something small and basic, like I mean. You see people doing muscle-ups at CrossFit Games or in your gym, and you say, I can't even do a pull-up. How am I supposed to get a muscle-up? And, I mean, what you have to do is you start with that foundational movement, such as a ring row or a bar row, and you work on that. And that will help you build up that foundation so that you can tip over the next largest domino being a... Uh, more challenging ring row with actually on the rings or banded pull-ups or negative pull-ups or isometric holds at the top of a pull-up and then eventually you're also working on those dominoes that are tipping over for dips so you're working on box dips and then you're working on band assisted dips from a bar and then you're working on ring dips before you know it and each of these are foundational stepping stones but you have to attack that first little one in order to tip over that next larger progression and that more difficult step more difficult steps so that once you have gotten to the point where you've knocked over all the dominoes that you can do real good pull-ups and really good ring dips and now you're working on a holding a false grip and doing a false grip pull up and all of a sudden it, how many videos have you seen of people who got their first muscle up seemingly out of nowhere they've got that momentum from tipping over one domino and the next domino and the next domino and the next domino and they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until they got the muscle up and this can be applied to anything like I have a whole video series, I'll put a link down below, about double unders and progressively building up to mastering double unders. But it's attacking the small things first and letting those topple over until the more difficult pieces become 
second nature, you know? So I thought a cool thing was they said that by like the 50 something domino, if you, even if they were starting with one that was like one inch tall, if they went up by 50% in size each time, then the like 50 something it domino would be big enough to reach from Earth's surface to the moon. I don't know, I'd have to check the math on that. But imagine that, you could start with something this small and it will go dink, 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 dink. And by the time it did that 50-ish times, you've got something so big, it's just falling over and knocking the moon out of the sky. That's my food for thought for you today. If you uh, enjoyed this little little video, please give it a big thumbs up. Oliver would appreciate it. Maybe, he, he probably doesn't care to be honest. But I'll greatly appreciate it. And uh, drop a comment down below about what small domino you can att start attacking today in order to make progress towards that bigger ultimate goal that you have in mind. And uh, I'd really love to hear about it. And if you'd wanna talk about any ideas for those steps, I'm always down to do that as well. So look forward to seeing you in the next video and have a good one.